that's the way you are. I played this song before. I love this song. So pay attention to the words of this song. It's just real beautiful. There we go. You hear them calling, shouting your name. Turn up the collar and walk away. Feels like you're falling. Now who is to blame? Wishing you. you could see don't you know that you're beautiful just the way you are good okay so let me put my phone on mute so nobody will interrupt me great welcome all of you that just join us if you meet me if you miss the dance you just warm up a little bit the body what i'm talking so today we're going to use the little band if you don't have it like i say it's not a must also some weights, any size you want that you're used to it, you like to use, and then water for hydration, okay? Real important. So let me drink a little water, calm my heart down. This is Balance and Mobility, sponsored by ARP of New Mexico and Villages of Santa Fe. We appreciate all of you for being here. Again, this class, whatever I'm doing here does not work for you. And your body tells you no, just listen to your body, go at your pace. And if it doesn't feel good in your body, don't do it, okay? Or just modify, that's my thing. Okay, if you have this band or a different band, any or long ones work. If you've been here before, you know I do this in all my classes because I think it's very important to work up our rhomboids, this muscle between our shoulder blade that makes our, our shoulder blade goes up. When you get older, you start the hand turn over. Also your rotator cuff, little muscles right here in front of your arms. 
that make it healthy, the movement, okay? So we do those all my classes. I think it's very important. Okay, so here, arms to the front. I'll come here to the front a little bit more. You don't need to see my feet. You just need to see my hands. So I'm gonna come closer. So you're gonna open to the side. Now you're gonna bring those arms against your chest. See my elbows are next to the body. We're gonna count one, two, three, and we release. We're just gonna do four, four or five of those, okay? Open, keep that tension on a band, next to the body, one, two, three, and release. So when you do this at home, I want you to do more than three or four, okay? Open, back to the chest, one, two, three, release, couple more, one, two, three, release, and the last one. One, two, three, release. So when you have this bend right here and you hold, you're contracting that rhomboid, that muscle in the back between your shoulder blades, right in the middle. People usually don't exercise those muscles, okay? So this one is for the rotator cuff, for flexibility on your arms movement here. Again, if it's too painful, doesn't work for you, don't do it, okay? Just sit it out. Or if you don't have a band, just do the the movements with your hands without the band. So now you hold it this way, both of your hands, left arm is next to the body. Do not move that arm. The only thing you're gonna do, you're gonna pull that right hand to the side. See a little bit how my arm gets off on the right side and then back to the center. Pull to the side, two, three, we do five, four, and one more, five. Good, down, move the shoulders, always do that. If you're doing at home, do more than five. Now you're gonna, the other side, you're gonna keep that right elbow in. Now you're gonna pull that left hand to the side and close. So you put a little tension on those muscles and rotate the cuff. Four and five. I just can soften the knee a little bit. You don't have to keep, you know, knee straight to soften that knee. Great. The next one you're gonna put in between your, your hip wrist. If you have a long one, just hold it to the side. Don't make too wide down here. And what you're doing is you're gonna pulse. Do little pulses like this, going all the way up and then down. Okay. Up, too much pain or discomfort. I want you to stop, okay? Don't want you to have any pain. Just a little bit, you know, challenging is fine. Challenge is one thing, but painful is something different. And now, uh, keep moving to the side, like you're pulsing those arms. All the way down and up again. And the last one down. Good, move your shoulders. Kind of take off all that stress of the shoulders. Okay, so the next one is this one here. So you hold in a diagonal position, pulling with your right hand down the band, keeping steady on the left arm. You're gonna bring that arm in and out. In, out. So just moving that elbow. The, right, the other side is completely still. Keeping pressure on that band. Couple more, one and two. When you learn this, you can do this at home by yourself. You don't need me for this, okay? So now the other side. Now left hand is pulling down the band, right arm is open to the side with the elbow, drive with the elbow down. One, two, three, four, and one more, five. Good, great, shake, shake, shake. Good, now I'm gonna do the back one and I'm gonna turn around so you see it. So I'm gonna turn, put those bands right behind me here. See between my, uh, my wrist, so soft my knee. Roll your shoulders back, gonna bring the arm up, gonna open 
and you're going to close. When you bring your arm up, you open the arms for, the, for, this, for this stretch and then down, okay? So keep that tension on the band when your arm is up. So up, one, you do five, two, three, four, and five. Good. Move the shoulders. Take a deep breath here. Okay, so we are done with the little band today. So now, if you want to, if you want to have a chair for balance, I'm going to put my chair here because I'm we're going to use today. Um, when we stop for a break, we're going to do some stuff sitting. We're going to teach you some new things today, how you can do sitting exercise if you cannot uh, stand for too long. Okay, it's another option. Okay, so we're going to start with a balance. Let's start doing the balance first. Then we move into some of the strength training with weights. So the first one to the balance, we always do this one here, is to open the hip. So open to the side and back and reverse. Okay, so if you need to hold for safety, please do so. Or put your hands on your waist and back. Backwards again, three more, one, and back, two, and back, reversing, and the last one here, and back, good. So balance is about posture, so make sure that you, your belly button is uh, to the spine, bring that navel in when you do that, and keep your body straight. So now we're gonna go to the other side, lifting the left leg up, open to the side, and reverse it. Movement on the hip, mobility on the hip. I'm gonna do a couple more, one, and two, and back. Good. Shake the leg, move the arms. I always like to do that. Okay, this one here, you're going to bend the left knee a little bit. If you need to hold in a chair, please do so. So you're gonna reach to the front with the right toe, like point with that foot, right foot, and bend back. So when you come back, I want you to lift you both of your heels and down. Point again to the front, back, lift and down, point, back, lift. So you point to the right toe, back to the center, then lift. I'm gonna do two more. Up, and the last one. Good, so when you do that point, we transfer weight from the one side to the not the other side. So all the weight's gonna be into the right side. Now you're gonna point to the left toe towards front, like you're trying to reach. You're gonna uh, bend the right knee just a little bit, come back to the center and lift both heels. To the center, back, lift, point, back. So when we're doing that, we also work on balance. Okay, and back. Remind everybody these classes are available on video, but you need to email us in order to get it. You cannot put in a in a, in a, in a chat. Okay, we send you uh, the information how to assess these videos. Okay, now we're going to do again balance. So you're gonna lift that right foot leg up, Open to the side, like your knees to the side in a diagonal position. You're gonna bring it down and up. Holding the core really tight. Down and up, hold if you need. We have over 300 videos in our library, so but you need to request that. Uh, Michelle has put in, a, in the chat the email address, you can email this, okay, to get it. It's free. Okay, and down, last one, up and down. 
Now we're gonna go to the other side. So all the weights are gonna be shipped on the right side. I'm gonna put that foot in a diagonal position right in front of the left foot. You're gonna lift and down. Lift that leg and down. Up, keep the body straight, shoulders down, belly button to the spine. Here we go, a couple of more. It's all balanced. Good. Shake the leg, shake the leg, move the shoulders. The next one, you're going to bring the right foot up. We're going to do the rotation on the ankle. One, two, one, two, and down. Tiptoe down. Up. One, two, one, two. Again, all the weights being shifted to the left leg. Right leg up straight. Moving the ankles. One, two, one, two. I always do this because rotation on the ankles, flexibility in ankles, very important for fall prevention. And down. Holding the core really tight. Up. Now I have to hold myself. One, two, one, two. And down. Up. One, two, one, two. And down. One more. That's it. One, two, one, two. I teach fall prevention next month, so we talk about all those things that are important. Shift of the weight to the right leg, left leg up. One, two, one, two. Down. Up. One, two, one, two. See if you can just, just rotate the ankles, not the leg. One, two, one, two. Down. Up. One, two, one, two. One more, one, two, one, two, and down. Good. Shake the leg here, shake the leg. Okay, another one that I do all the time is the leg lift. Again, shift the weight to the left leg. On the, hold it on the chair or on your waist. You're going to lift and down. Lift, back, lift, lift. Just lifting. Couple more. One and two. Now we'll do the same leg. We're going to do the front. We're going to kick to the front and down. Kick down. Keep kicking. One more. In the last one. And down. Good. Now I'm going to do a combo. I'm going to kick to the side and the front. Side and front. Side, front, side and front. And the last one. And done. Good. Move your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Okay. Move the brain, you know, change the, the focus on your brain because the brain connects to the muscles in our body. So the next one, we're going to do the other side. You're going to kick, lift to the side. One. Six. Seven. And eight. If you get our videos, you can do this at home anytime. Even if you don't watch the whole thing, watch parts of it, okay? Now I'm going to kick to the front. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. If you look at our website, we have other free classes that we do. If you can attend. Okay, now I'm going to do a combo to the side and front. Side, front, front. Side lifting and kicking to the front. Lifting, kicking. Good. It's the last one. Good. Move your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Okay. Always talk about squatting. People say, yeah, after a certain age, you should not do squatting. Doing properly squatting, yes, it's important to do because then you keep your legs strong. You can get on the floor, get off of the floor. Very, very things that I teach in my fall prevention. So here, wide stand. You can hold it in a chair if you need support. Now you're going to bring your arms up and up towards the ceiling. So straight down, 
Bring your butt to the back. Do not use the knees to go to the front. It's up straight and down. You can go as deep as you can. If you not go too deep, you can just bend the knee a little bit because that builds strength in your legs. That's what builds strength. Couple more and one more. Great, arms down, move the shoulders, kick the leg, do a little dance. Sometimes we gotta dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the steps. Remember the steps, we do this all the time. This sometimes is a repetition because so you gotta train the brain how to do those things. So that's why I repeat a lot. So we're gonna step to the front, bend the knee a little bit, right knee bend it, left knee is bend it, and step back. So that's the power on the muscle. And you step back, You're using the power, not the strength in the muscle, but the power, the ability to make that impulse back. So if you trip, for some reason, if you have the power in the muscle, you'll be able to recover. But if you don't, then you're gonna go to the floor. So that's what I always tell people, exercise. The last one, and back. Now I'm gonna do the other side, left, step to the front, bend the back knee, left knee is a little bit bended too, and impulse back. Make sure you do that impulse, so that way you train your brain to keep those muscles with power, because as we age, we not just only use power, but also strength in muscles, okay? And the last one. Good, shake the leg, move the shoulder. Okay, now we're gonna do the back part. The back part is the same thing. You step back and you step to the front, or you can lunge back like I am and back to the center. If you cannot lunge, you just step. Lunge, the muscles on the leg. Pay attention, have your attention on those muscles in your leg that you're building. More, and one more. Now to the other side. Back, feet together. Step back, feet together. Keep doing it. You can do this by yourself at home when you watch my videos. One more. Good, great. Move your shoulders again. Give yourself a little break there. We step to the front, step back, and then we're gonna step to the side. I always do this one, really important. Step to the right, bend the right knee. Left leg is totally extended. Your butt is in the back of the room. And you step back. If you're a stupid superstar, you can go deeper here and back, okay? You don't have to. Do as much as you can. Go at your pace. Couple more, one, and the last one. Good. Move your shoulders, take a deep breath. Okay, now we're gonna step to the left. Step straight to the left. Bend the right knee, left knee, right legs extended, butt to the back, deeper here or up, and feet together. Again, using the power on that muscle to bring yourself back. Good. One of the things we're gonna teach in this fall prevention, we're gonna have a, a PT person that specializes in fall prevention and she's gonna teach us how to fall. Because people ask me all the time, how do we fall? So there's so many ways you can fall. Her way of teaching people how to fall and what to think about falling. But if you're, if you're not exercising, if your body's not strong, doesn't matter how many techniques you have, you're not gonna be able to recover. So it's important to exercise. I keep telling you all the time about that. 
Okay, now we're gonna use a chair. Gonna, I'm gonna be sideways, so you know what I'm doing. This is gonna bring strength in your glutes. Exercising the glutes is also important. So you will have a healthy back. So now you're gonna bring that knee towards your chest and you're gonna bring that up towards the ceiling here. You're gonna bend over a little bit. Then you're gonna bring it down. Up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the belly, then back to the center and down. Up, kick to the back, kick towards the ceiling. We're not even kick back straight. We're kicking to the ceiling today. And down, and the last one up. And down. Now I'm gonna move my chair to the other side so you see me from the side, on the left side, here. Use the chair for support. Bring that right knee, left knee up, kick towards the ceiling, and then back to the center and down. Go as high as you can. If you cannot go this high, you just go straight. Squeezing the glutes, remember? I always remember people remind people there is not a pill to prevent falls. The only pill that I know is moving your body, exercising, that helps to get you stronger. And we're gonna do the last one. Good, move the shoulders, take a deep breath. We're gonna do a couple more things before we, um, we go do other things. Okay, so arms to the side, you can hold it on a chair. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do bring the right leg up and you're gonna kick. If you can, you do this or here or hold it on a chair. We're gonna bring our leg, right leg up, we're gonna kick one, two, three, and tiptoe down. Don't put your whole foot on the floor. Belly button to the spine, shoulders down, body straight. Up, one, two, three, and down. Tiptoe down on the right foot, up. Shift the weight to the left leg. What we're doing here, we're getting the brain connection to the muscles on your body here to do this movement. It's all about connection. The last one, one, two, and three, and down. Now we're gonna open, go to the other side, move your shoulders, take a deep breath, again holding, or arms to the side or in your, on your waist. Left, left leg up. I'm gonna try to open my arms this time. Two, three, tiptoe down, up, one, two, three, and down. Up, one, two, three, down. Holding the core up, one, two, three. When I say hold the core, mean belly button to the spine. One, two, three. And the last one up, one, two, three. And down, good. Move your shoulders, take a deep breath. Okay, let's drink some water. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do some exercises for chair. So some people, when they attend my other class that I go down to the floor and they can't go to the floor, then sometimes I tell them, don't leave the class, just do some exercise on sitting. So you exercise the same way. So if you have weights, we can use some of the weights, but if you don't have hand weights, don't worry about it, just do it without them. Weight is an option. Weight is an option. I think everybody can see me there? Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Okay. So this here also is not just uh, exercise in a chair. It's a little bit of, um, of a cardio too, because I'm trying to incorporate some cardio in this class because we don't do a lot of cardio besides the dancing at the beginning. If you don't come into class on time, 
You must miss the dance. So let's do this. Let's start moving the arms up straight one at a time. Like you reach into the ceiling really tall, straighten up your spine, reach into the ceiling, straight up towards the ceiling here. Good. And more. Now you're gonna reach to the side. Move your body to the side, come back to the center. Reach into the side. Eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now we're gonna do the front, like you swiping the table. Swiping. Front. Good. Not ready to swipe. And back. One more. Last one. Good. Now you're going to put the arms to the side, palms facing the front. See how my palms are? We're going to do a little circle here. One, two, to the back. Circle to the back of the room. Body straight. You can sit even the back of the chair a little bit. Make sure your belly button is to the spine. Keep that torso really steady here and moving the arms. Now gonna do reverse. Reverse, do little circles with the hands. Okay, right there. Good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open the chair, uh, the legs a little wider. Okay, you can even sit to the front a little bit more. Okay. Now, actually let's put one to the front. We're gonna do the front. So let's start here, change my mind. So we're gonna do feet together. What we're gonna do, we're gonna reach the left hand and the right foot to the side and back to the center. Move to the side, back to the center. We're gonna do five here. Kick to the side. One more. Now we're gonna do the other side. Left leg, right arm. You can even do this. Good. Here, I'm straight. One more. Now we're gonna alternate left and right. So right arm, left leg, opposite. Little cardio. Another one and the last one. Good, good. Just do a little movement of the feet, like marching in place, up and down. Okay. So now I don't know, I don't know if you've been exercised, people talk about doing burpees. Okay, now we're doing, I'm gonna teach you how to do burp sitting. Okay, you move to the center of the chair a little bit. Actually, let's stay in the middle here. So what we do burpees is when you stand your arm up and you come down on the floor, then you jump. So we're not gonna jump. We're gonna teach you how to do burpees. You can tell people, do you do burpees? Yes, I do burpees. Sitting, okay? So have that room in front of your chair. I want you to use the arms. Burpees is designed for you to strengthen your arms as well, okay? So you're gonna hold in front of your chair here Gonna bring your arms towards the ceiling, really high. Gonna bring it down and you're gonna put right in between your legs holding the chair and you're gonna bring your bump up and down, okay? Up towards the ceiling and then hands in the middle of the chair here and bring your butt up. Just a little bit, don't have to be high, okay? Because use your arms, not your legs to bring you up. Strengthen your arms. Up. One more. And the last one. Okay, great. And down now, walk foot towards the front. Okay, great. So now we're gonna sit back. We're gonna do the kicking again. So the kicking is you're gonna open the arms and you're gonna kick alternating Legs, you're gonna kick, alternating. Every time you bring a leg up, up kicking straight, you bring your arms up. This is cardio and 
strengthen a leg at the same time. Up, up. So you have some more things to add to your exercise routine besides the one that I usually do on this Monday class sitting. Good, good. Take a deep breath. Move your shoulders to the back here. Good. Now, if you have weights, let's let's pick the weights. If you don't, just don't worry about it. Just do without it. So keep your back straight. Sit to the back of the chair because we're going to need some strength here for the arms. We're going to work the arms a little bit. So you're going to bring your arms right in front of you, facing with the weights or not, facing the ceiling. And we're going to switch up and down. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, and eight. And down, good. Different muscles than when we do our palms down. Now we're gonna put our palms down. We're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Belly button to the spine, arms to the front straight, cross over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down, good. Move your shoulders, take a deep breath. Okay, now we're gonna hold the right arm to the side, and then we're gonna bring up towards the ceiling. Back here to the center, like shoulder level, bring the arms to the side in front of you, and then down. Up, side, and up towards the ceiling. It's just like you're doing a L shape here. Up, can do without the weight. Don't have to have weight for this. Weight brings a little bit more strength to the arms. Or bottle of water. Or can goods, can vegetables, can whatever. And the last one. Those are the things you can do at home by yourself, okay? Now I'm gonna do the other side. So up to the side, back to the center, down. To the center here, to the side, up. It's about three movements. One, two, and three, okay? Just different movements, different strengths, and different parts of the arm. And one more. And down. Good. Move the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Okay. So now I'm going to sit to the side. I'll show you what we're going to do here. So we're going to use one arm. We've done this before. We're going to work the back of the arm called the, the tricep um, right here the one that we usually get very flabby as we age, it's normal. So body straight, just bend off just a little bit here. It's just not here, a little bit to make room for the arm to come to the back of the room. You kick the arm back, back here, you bend the elbow straight back. Six, two more. One and two. You don't have to go fast either. So let's go to the other side. Okay. So sit on the side of the chair. So you just come, bring your arm, your body towards the front just a little bit. My back straight, left arm up. Now you're going to keep the arm up here. You're going to kick that back, the forearm, and then bend it on the elbow. Relax the neck, look it on the floor. Eight, okay, we're doing just eight and down. Good, move the shoulders. <clears throat> now this one here, <clears throat> it's a little bit, gonna be a challenge to do with weights, but I'm gonna try to do with weights, you don't have to do it. So we're gonna do a arms to the front, and we're gonna open the arm. So you cannot do both. So you can do this back to the center. 
and alternating this one option here with weight or without, or you can do the more advanced ones, which is both legs and both arms and back to the center, holding the core really tight. Okay, open, close, open, close, open, breathing, don't forget to breathe, and back to the center. You exhale an absorption, and one more, and back, good. Great, move the shoulders, okay. Now we're gonna use one weight, <clears throat> Gonna open wide here again, okay? And what we're doing here, we're gonna try to reach, right, actually let's keep both arms with the, both hands with the weights because we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna do is gonna try to reach your left foot with that right hand with the weight. And then you come back to the center, to the, to the ceiling. And then you come back down again. We're gonna do two on each side, one, in two, good. Now come back here, hold that weight on the other leg, left arm up, they're gonna cross over to the right foot, right leg. One, as far as you can go, if you can go just up to the knee, just do that. And the last one. Good, and down. Move your shoulders here. Now gonna sit right in front of the chair again, Doing all this charity exercise to teach you what you can do if you cannot stand in to, for too long periods of time, okay? So you're going to hold both weights in your hands or not. You're going to bend, not bend over, but just move your body towards the front just a little bit. So let me show to, show to the side what it is, okay? See how my back is again, okay? I'm going to make sure that you're right. So here is just a little hinge and then back to the center. So the weight is trying to bring your body towards the, the floor a little bit more. So it does. And work on the back. Back to the front, back straight. You're not hunching over. It's just a little movement there. And a couple more. One more. Again, don't forget to ask for the videos. Also, I'm gonna be here at the end of the class to answer any questions. We'll give you the information again, how to access our videos. And um, stay until the end and talk to me if you have any questions or anything that I'm doing here that you don't understand, okay? So now we're gonna roll it back. Gonna do a little, <clears throat> little stretch here. So we're gonna bring both arms to the side, to the front. And up to the door is the ceiling. You're going to bend it to the right. You're going to do a side bend here, stretching that side of the body. Back to the center, into the other side. And back to the center. One more bend to the right. Back to the center and left. And back and down. Good. Now we're gonna do um, a stretch for the piriformis. That muscle connects with our sciatic, but this is too much for you. Stay down here, okay? Open the leg wide, keep pulling that leg down a little bit, that knee down, or you can move up this way. This is a little bit more advanced. You can feel it in your sciatic nerve, okay? So you stay there, you can feel it, and that, that needs to be stretched. That muscle is always good to stretch, but if this is too much for you, keep your foot on the floor, that's another option. You don't have to do this. It's a little stretch there. Good. And then we're gonna move to the other side. Good. So if you wanna pull that knee down a little bit more with the palms of your hand and the middle of your thigh, you can or not. Whatever works for you. Gosh, this 45 minutes went pretty fast. Okay, that's why it's important for you to get the videos and then watch at your own pace. Even if you don't watch the whole 45 minutes, watch a little bit less. Okay, so I usually do a, at the end of the class, I usually do a, um, like, thank the body. But today, since everybody is 
thought about is their attention is turning to the eclipse. I just saw this poem in, written by Linda May Fox and talks about darkness and light. So I'm gonna read this to you today, instead of doing our normal, um, thank you to the body. And we are, thank you to our body. Anyway, you can do that later. Say so darkness and light. The darkness of the night and the burning light in sight. The stillness of silence, the darkness and loneliness. A whisper of the world to come where day and night cross as one, a glimmer of light in a brush of the night. All around, silence is a sound where living souls dressed in cloths and darkness of darkness travel to the midnight hours and hide away in the morning mist, giving away the flame that radiates with such warmth off as the soul's returns to the light. Day and night, dark and light, are, are all are one. As the whispers of silence touch the heart of the flickering, fl flickering flame. This is Linda May Fox. Okay, so have a great, great week. Be safe, be well, drink plenty of water, like I always say. And then I'm going to teach in class next Monday for Judith. So I'm going to do another balance class again next Monday. Don't forget to sign up for, even though it says Yoga Fusion, I'm going to teach for the next couple of weekends, couple of Mondays. So don't miss out on it. 